Hello everyone. So today in this video, we'll compare two very interesting text to video generation models. One of them has been launched recently and is making quite a buzz. That is Mini Minimax. You can see this is the URL through which you can access the Minimax text to video generation tool. And the other one is uh, much more commonly known in video AI tool. So uh, We'll go through both of them. We'll use similar prompts. I have four prompts ready uh, for both of them. So we'll use exactly sim same uh, prompts to generate videos and let's see what is the result. So I will start with this first prompt. In a bustling futuristic market, neon signs glow as a robotic street performer entertains a crowd with dazzling lights, light tricks. So mm, I'll use this prompt to generate video from Minimax and then from in video as well. So before checking the results, uh, let's know some of the differences between the two models. Uh, so the first thing in video uh, provides you, which is not the case with Minimax right now, is that it has a lot of customization options because it is it primarily focus focuses on creating uh, content which uh, is social media friendly. So um, when I gave the first prompt to the uh, in video tool, it actually uh, read it and understood it and gave me some of the options like what is the audience? Is it tech enthusiasts or someone else? Uh, um, what kind of video do you want bright futuristic and what platform you are going to upload it. Uh, so uh, as you can see uh, with the options that it is heavily focused uh, towards content creators. So that is one thing which uh, you need to keep in mind. And also um, the videos generated by in video AI are one minute long, nearly one minute long. Whereas uh, in the case of Minimax, it uh, the length is of uh, just six six seconds yeah so uh, that is a he that is a big deal breaker you can say i mean uh, six seconds uh, second videos can be used just for a very short um, advertising or maybe in some of some form of digital comics but in case of in video you can generate a full fledged youtube short, short or in fact a full youtube vi video by uh, by combining many videos together. So that is the thing. Uh, so let's check the results now. So as you can see, this is the output of in video uh, for the first prompt. So this is the result of Minimax from the first prompt. I think it has been able to perform really well and imbibe the details which were present in the prompt like bustling market, futuristic, uh, robot performing uh, some kind of act and neon lights. So neon lights are also there. Detailing is very good. Uh, the faces of the human beings you can see here are not that accurate but that is the case with most of the video generation and image generation tools um, which are present in the market right now and <clears throat> so yeah it is performing quite well now let's try the second prompt which is a serene underwater city where bioluminescent sea creatures dance around futuristic skyscrapers made of coral and glass. So this is the result of in video from the second prompt.
so this is the result from minimax again the details are very good it has been able to capture the essence the meaning of prompt very well uh, there's a futuristic city inside uh, the sea and you can see uh, the creatures uh, which was mentioned in the prompt as well so yeah it's good Now let's try another prompt. A young adventurer explores an ancient mystical forest where glowing runes light up the path and whisper secrets of forgotten magic. So this is the result from Minimax using the prompt number 3 and the details are good. It has been able to capture the essence but you can see the face, the eyes specifically of the boy are not that good. So that is something which uh, can be a negative point but I think that is the case with most of the uh, video generation tools right now. Now let's try our last prompt. A sleek racing drone navigates through a neon lit cityscape at night, weaving between skyscrapers at breakneck speed. So let's check out the results of InVideo and Minimax both using this prompt. So this is the result from Minimax. Uh, now it has been able to capture the detail of uh, the prompt quite accurately when compared to um, in video. Uh, so uh, as it was men mentioned in our prompt that it uh, has to be a sleek racing drone which is navigating through a neon lit city escape at night. So just check it out. Uh, there's a drone. Uh, the the scene is of a city escape and it um, it is of night time as well and drone is navigating through these skyscrapers with breakneck speed so that is the thing i mean now you can see the difference between in video and um, minimax and other such text to video generation tools that uh, the detailing and preciseness of conversion from text to video is much more in these kind of tools instead of generalistic tools like in video so yeah that's all and i think minimax uh, tool is very interesting to uh, use and uh, it has been dubbed as the competitor of sora and uh, so this itself tells you that it's a very good tool and uh, it has some of the cons as well like it only generates a six second video and many other such um, tools uh, generate much videos of much more length so that is one thing but uh, i think with time the video length would definitely increase which has been the case with most of such other tools so yeah i think uh, that's all. Yeah, that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you